one, go! And match number 14 is in autonomous as the Blue Alliance 88 66 Innovation Robotics team. They move out, scoring two points for their alliance coming out of their starting line zone. The robot starting zone. That's the end of the 15 seconds of Autonomous, where now the human players have control of the bots. They're moving down the field, up and down, trying to collect those notes, placing them in the amp, scoring them in the speaker. 80-80, Sequoia Robotics scores in high. That's worth two points here in, auto here in human play. As 6705, the Wildcat 5E scores one point in the amp. Innovation Robotics under the stage now, coming out from underneath. They collect, they're collecting a note. 8866, that's Chuck in the Innovation Robotics team. They've got the note in their possession of 6712. Is that the speaker? Looks like they're going to try to score high. They're getting into position. Right there is 8866, just a little bit off the top of the speaker with their note, trying to place those notes. And there goes 6712, bounces back off onto the field. A lot of action is 8080 racing down the field. Trying to collect a note to take back and score in the amplifier or the speaker. As 8866, the Innovation Robotics team from Alpharetta, Georgia, picking up a note from the field of 6712 of Mountaineers and Bob. Hanging around their speaker. 8866 in position. Up and off to the side as 6705, the Wildcat 5 team. Team. Is that the subwoofer? They're getting into possession. They launch. Oh, and it bounces out of the speaker. All right. Every time they score in that speaker, it's worth two points unless they are amplified. And you'll be able to tell if it's amplified by the speaker being lit up and the dial at the bottom of the subwoofer spinning around, indicating how much time they have in the amplified period. There's 4240. That's the Trotec Warriors. They're in the center field. They've got a note in their possession. They thought about dancing with 8866, but decided against that as 8866 is down in the Red Alliance zone. 6705 scoring two points as it's 20 to 19. We're neck and neck with this one right here as it's bouncing back and forth. The Red Alliance ahead right now by one point as we're down to 11 seconds left to go. 6712 up against the thing. Here goes 6705. They're going to try to score two points. It's 20 to 19 still as 22 to 19 as we're down to the end of the match. 42 40. They've climbed up onto the stage. I can't tell if they're fully off of, off of the ground yet. That'll have to be the referees making that determination. But from where I see right now, it looks like they may still be touching the carpet. That was match number 14 of what will be 72 total qualifying matches. There will be a total of 50 played this afternoon. A total of 50 matches all together combined from this morning. That's where we'll stop and pick up with 51 tomorrow. The referees are conferring. They're checking all the pages, making sure all the notes are in place. The whole notes are there, the half notes. Are, there we go. We got the thumbs up from the referee. I hear the F1 coming down the track. I hear it in the background. We should hear it loudly here in a moment. Ready to go. There it is. Three, two, one. As the F1 races across, it's a tie, folks. Each one of the team gains one ranking point as it's 24 to 24 coming out of that match. That's our first tie today, but that was an exciting match. It was close, and it was exciting. Look for more of that throughout the competition this afternoon as the teams get familiar with their robots. Their programming gets better, and the competition heats up here at the event.